Hello, and welcome to Shara's Craft Haven. Today we're going to be talking about color block mode in the Laserbox software. This is for the Laserbox Startup, Laserbox Pro, and Laserbox Rotary. We're going to be talking about what color block mode is, how to use it, how to design for it, and some unique things you can do with it that you can't do in regular mode. As always, like, subscribe, use the affiliate links in the description, and join me for some laser. In so how do you design for uh, color mode, color block mode? So here we have our normal setup. I'm going to go to the document properties. I'm going to change the units to millimeters, page size, 500 millimeters by 300 millimeters. This is just something I always do to stop scaling issues. All right, we got that set up. Something unique to color block mode, if you go down to the far right, you can choose um, different uh, different color palettes. Um, I like one that doesn't have a lot of options, but they're easy to tell apart. Um, so you can choose Inkscape default. That's got a few options. Um, or you can choose, let's see. There we go. We'll choose, this one's called um, Echo Icon Theme Palette. So you can see across the bottom here, there's a few different colors. They're easily distinguishable. Um, one of the things you might do with this is when I get a new material, I do an engrave test. And so I make a bunch of squares. So we will make these squares. You can make them pretty small. So I'll just do these six millimeters by six millimeters. Um, that way you're not wasting a lot of material doing your tests. We're gonna zoom in so you can see this. Um, for color block mode, um, the color that's inside of it actually doesn't matter, um, but the stroke matters. So by holding down shift and then clicking on a color, you can change the stroke color. Um, let's make that stroke a little bit bigger. I usually do 1.26, um, actually 0.126, but I'll just do one so it'll be really uh, apparent for you on the video. And then I'm going to click no fill just so it's pretty obvious. So what we're going to do here to demonstrate that you can use a lot of different colors in color block mode is I'm just going to go through this, the, um, a few of these scales here. So here we have um, the blue, control D is duplicate, um, shift control A is for our line tool. I'll just space them one, two, three out, duplicate, align to the side, one, one, two, three. We'll do We'll do four by four, why not? One, two, three, and then we will group this row and then duplicate it down. So control G, control D. We'll then shift select one of those last ones. One, two, three, control D. Select one, two, three. That way we will have a lot of different things we can test very quickly. All right, so, <clears throat> so I'm gonna ungroup these, control U, and then I'm just gonna go down again, holding shift down and left clicking um, adds the stroke. So shift click, shift click, shift click. And when we bring this into color block mode, you'll always say, be able to see each of these we can change independently. 
for different settings. So you can see really quickly with minimal amount of wood used, we can uh, test a bunch of different engraving settings. And that way, um, we'll know uh, what, what works and what doesn't work. So we have our 16 different colors. Uh, again, by choosing this color theme palette, we can be consistent with these. Um, so for example, it'll remember your settings. So for example, if I want to have this purple always be my cut line, if I want to have my score line red or vice versa, if I want to keep um, what I'm going to be engraving in orange, um, I can keep those settings consistent. And um, when I open up color block mode again, if I'm using these same colors, it'll have a memory of those settings. Um, so I'm going to save this file just as uh, SVG. All right, here we are in the uh, Laserbox software. We're going to click to start a new project. Um, in case you don't know, you can go to settings and then uh, check the mark that says show color block mode or show color block. We are going to import and then we're going to import our test pattern. And then you can see it brought in all 16 of those different colors. It even added those down here. <laughs> so there's already a bunch of default ones and it's basically filled up this whole space with all of those uh, new colors. So as you can see on this side, um, the speed is currently 80. Um, that is the max speed for a line because uh, in color block mode, it's not seeing cut lines or engraved lines. It's just seeing lines. And depending on what you put in for your values determines whether it's cutting. Um, if you do a very fast, uh, a fast speed, low power cut line, uh, that's called scoring. Um, or if you fill it in, so we're going to, we've selected everything and then we're clicking on the design tab and then clicking fill and then we go back to flat surface mode. Now we can increase the speed. So say just for this test, we're not going to go through and populate this whole thing. Uh, we want to test this material. Um, so we'll start up here. Uh, and then we we want to have a gradient of these colors um, to to test you know different settings at different speeds. So we'll say this is 300, which is fast for engraving. The max speed is 330. Um, if you yeah you won't be able to input anything above that. Uh, most of my engraving um, I like 264 as a speed. So we'll start just 264 and then 50% power, and then we'll go to the next one, and then we'll do 264, and then we'll do 40 power, and then 264 again, and then 30 power, and then the last one in that row, we'll do 264 power, and then we'll do 20. So again, we're not populating this whole thing, but if you went through each row and changed the speed, and then the power by column, you could um, test a whole lot of different settings very quickly in one pass. Um, I, I don't have 16 squares normally, but I do have a file where I can just pull it up and it's all set up and I can do a quick, a quick test and see how it looks on the different materials. So this is one application 
Um, this is how it comes in. Um, if we wanted to make any of these score lines, again, we could just uncheck that and then uh, accordingly set the parameters. Um, I like to do 70 um, speed, which is pretty fast. And then depending on how deep I want the score, um, I'd say between 10 and 30. If you go beyond 40 power, um, you're, you're starting to do a pretty, uh, a pretty deep cut into the wood. So this is one example. So here is an example of something I used color block mode for, um, especially the scoring function when I first got the machine. So you can see here, um, when I designed this, it was going to take incredibly long to engrave all of these um, pieces. So what I did was I chose to only have a fill for some of the pieces. So um, a few of these things are filled in. Um, and then the rest of it is lines. Um, ignore these settings. Uh, these are <laughs> not my final settings. It took quite a bit to figure out the right scoring settings for different things. But what it allowed me to do is, for example, this purple here, um, this is um, this is really tight work. It goes, it goes really fast and does um, a lot of really small things. It, it makes a great lattice work. But doing that has to be a lot slower than a lot of other things. So by having the ability to have the purple do all those little pieces slowly uh, allows the belt not to slip. And again, um, with other pieces, it was the same way. Um, by doing these in lines, by coloring them, it allows the machine um, again, like this Christmas tree and these chairs, uh, you can't even see the detail, but they're really detailed lines. Um, by doing those slower at lower power, I can independently control the line work and what was going to take, again, I believe the size of this was like four inches by five inches, so pretty sizable. Um, when I was going to do this engraving, it was going to take like 45 minutes. It was going to take a really, really long time um, by doing uh, scoring uh, and designing it for scoring in mind. Then it, it dropped it down to like five or six minutes. So being able to do all these lines quickly, um, have a couple of things that look good, need to be engraved, and then um, the cut line around the outside. So by being able to use color block mode to do all those things at the same time, um, I'm not worrying about lining anything up. I'm not having to do multiple cutting passes, um, any of those kind of things that if you were to do normal mode, um, you'd need to engrave and cut, and then you need to come back and do scoring um, and not move it and be worried about that. But here's another uh, case where you can do some pretty complicated things um, using especially the scoring ability um, to quickly do um, really neat, um, really neat ornaments. Laserbox color block mode unlocks a lot of different possibilities, but it's not something that you really need to use all the time. If you're just doing engraving um, and you just need one or two engraving settings, you can just click on the layers and set those manually. If you're just engraving and cutting, then you ro don't really need color block mode. Where color block mode is really helpful is when you have things that you want to cut engrave and score or if you want to score multiple ways so if you want to have a light score and a deep score or if you have an image that's been layered and so um, part of it you want to go um, twice as deep you can set two passes for part of your image and um, you can get some topography that way i don't use color block mode very often um, mostly I utilize it for doing ornaments or things that if you did normal engraving, it would take a long time to do, but things like that where you can do uh, a quick scoring pass, 
the time goes dramatically down, I can get much more of them done, um, and I'm not having to make any sort of um, a jig or anything like that to line them up to do multiple um, things on the same side. So that's how I use color black mode. I'm sure people have lots of other ideas of how they can use color black mode. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video and let you know that it's been updated, that it now works, um, and that with uh, Inkscape or another program, by adding in those colored strokes, you can import into Laserbox mode and be able to directly set your settings and go from there. If you like this video or other videos like this, um, please <laughs> like, subscribe, all those fun things. But also I have affiliate links in the description. Um, so if you're buying any Laserbox materials, I know they have acrylic that's in now, that's awesome. Um, some other woods, um, specialty woods. Clicking on those links are incredibly helpful. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and continuing to make things better and better. Please ask any questions in the comments, join the Facebook group, and as always, have fun lasering.